Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our lovely, beautiful Town Hall 12. Let's play back on Archimedes. It feels so good and I'm super excited to get up to some action today. Now, I don't have the overwhelmingly full storages that I wanted to have before this video, but we do have five builders available and we have quite a few cheaper upgrades that we can fill the gaps in. So I think we're going to be just fine. Our laboratory is sitting pretty. We still got nine days until we have to worry about it again. So I'm happy with that. And basically, we just need to go out there and get more loot and do some upgrades. But first, I want to remind you guys that if you missed yesterday's live stream, you missed something really, really special. Remember, I stream every Tuesday and Thursday at noon Eastern time. Uh, that's on DLive, a brand new platform, or not brand new, it's a couple of years old, but a platform called DLive, the link is in the description, I recommend that you come hang out with us, hit that follow button for uh, Tuesday's stream, which is coming up in just a few short days, or if you're watching this in the future, is it Tuesday, is it Thursday, come check out the streams, we'll be there for quite some time, so anyway, also, uh, I forgot that I've been doing premieres, I wrote a note for myself so I wouldn't forget this, I've been doing what's called premieres on my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media, uh, where I basically stream uh, the new video that I've recorded and I watch it with the viewers and chat with the viewers while that video is being streamed. It's pretty sweet. And then after that, it becomes a video like it normally would. I've been trying that out. So if you want to, come check out the second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. We've been sticking with Minecraft, but I've done some uh, new stuff that's coming, that's in the pipeline. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Plus, I'm really enjoying the premieres. I love chatting with uh, the viewers as things go. And I'm thinking about doing that with this class channel but i'm not entirely sure if i want to yet it may just be a lot of chaos we'll see but anyway so let's go dominate some bases i've got gigabarch as usual and let's just see what kind of trouble we can get into i'm uh i'm aiming for dark elixir right now i'm really really hoping to upgrade something really epic here soon ideally like the queen right i want to get the queen maxed out that would be great um obviously also the uh, the Eagle Artillery, that's a, or not Eagle, what the heck, the Grand Warden. I always, for those of you that have been watching me for this past couple of years, I always confuse the two, Eagle Artillery and Grand Warden. I don't know why. I mean, they were both released with Town Hall 11, I guess that makes sense. But at the same time, it's like, bro, they're totally different things. What is wrong with you? But anyway, uh, let's try to find a base with at least a fair amount of loot. This is not a strong strategy. I'm really... Highly considering switching to another strategy. Um, I know that I ask you guys on a regular basis, and I do read all of the comments, and I've been trying to be a, a little bit more active about answering comments and stuff like that. But um, if you guys would do me the favor of giving me some suggestions for farming elixir. Now, I realize Bart's is the best strategy for farming elixir, but if you have any other strategies that you'd recommend, let me know in the comments. But I'm going to attack this base because the dark elixir is super easy to get to, so let's go. Boom. Giants are down. Warwickers are also down. I'm going to go ahead and throw my, my uh, wall breakers. Let's get the barbarians and archers. King, queen, warden. Let's go rage and warden's ability. Very nice and early. And let's also get the goblins in for fun. Let's go. Okay. Heal. Uh, rage spell. I'm going to freeze over the eagle. We're going to jump over the backside. Pop that king's ability. I've also still got another freeze. I'm going to freeze the eagle once, once more. Let's maybe raid spell. Yeah, let's raid spell through the backside. And I've also got a poison spell. So what can I use that on? I've got no more heroes. What happens if you poison the Grand Warden statue? Does it slow him down? It doesn't. He's still shooting at the same rate. Okay, just learned something new. I wanted to experiment with that for a while now. I just keep forgetting to. So Baby Dragon, just start working on stuff out there on the corners. Um, Baby Dragon will take out the Archer Tower for sure. Queen is still in the middle, and Queen still has practically full health, so that's awesome. When I pop her ability, she'll get through the cannon, and then there's really nothing of huge um, notes that's going to be dangerous for that Queen. So I think that we've pulled off the three-star. We got quite a bit of Dark Elixir, which is always a good thing, and I will be satisfied. Watch this. Boom, baby! Baby Dragon three-star. Got to flip and love it. And with that loot bonus, guys, you're looking at over 5,500 Dark Elixir, which is just absolutely beautiful. So I've got my phone already ready to go for some donations. I've got my star bonus. And let's request for some CC troops. I am requesting for Dab, as usual, which is, of course, my two Yetis. I've also got a wizard. Hold on. Got a wizard, and I've got a wall wrecker. And let's go ahead and throw in a rage spell in there, too. I did forget to request for a, for a spell. So we're already ready to go. Let's go dominate 
Dominate another base. Oh, that's that's a new word. Okay, so I say dominate a lot, right? Which you guys know what that means, but dominate. That means to bring the doom, right? I love that. Anyway, uh, let's don't get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's just dominate the space. Or dominate. Either one. Also, I'm seeing lots of dark elixir, lots of stuff from the core. And ooh, there is a drill. Out here. Let's see if we can get an archer tower. Oh, we get look at that. We got an archer on this drill. It will get the entire drill alone by itself without help. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, giants. Get the job done, sir. Uh, sirs. Barbarians. Archers. Very good. Wall wrecker. Let's actually get the wall breakers in there too. And I'm thinking Rage Warden. Here we go. Goblins are going in. I hope they go into the core, but honestly, I don't care where they go at this point. Just go somewhere. Um, let's pause the eagle. Pause. Freeze. Whatever. Rage and heal. And I still have another rage, which is great. I've also got another freeze. I'm going to go ahead and freeze this. It's going to pause. Dang it. Freeze. Not pause. Gosh. It's going to freeze the eagle, but I missed it because I got flustered because I misspoke. Um, wow. There's a lot of freaking giant bombs in the core. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's just rage the core. I don't know what's in there, but we'll rage it anyway. Got some baby dragons. Let's get the baby dragons. Um, oh, never mind. The queen's going to handle the baby dragon situation or the uh, eagle artillery situation. That's perfect. Okay. And you know what? Let's put a baby dragon on here. Pop that queen's ability. And dude, we're looking good. Also, why did I jump into the town hall when I knew the wall wrecker was going to go there? I think I did that to make sure that the funnel stayed true and nothing walked. Because if you miss that town hall, it's just a sad, sad situation. So I, I, I put the jump spell early just to make sure everything went toward that town hall. But that was sad because then the queen got stuck. So baby dragon will get that last gold storage actually sorry there's another gold storage over there and a gold mine we missed out on a little bit of gold but i'm proud to announce that we got all of the dark elixir which is great um what about the elixir i think i kind of missed a little bit of the elixir also wow those expos were set on ground don't set your expos on ground people that's a bad thing i mean it's great if someone's attacking with ground troops like I am but um the baby dragon could have just roamed freely if it wasn't for the archer tower that was there is that an archer tower yeah that was an archer tower but anyway all that aside with the dark elixir in the loot bonus over 7,000 dark elixir gotta freaking love that and over 300,000 gold and over 400,000 elixir I mean it's beautiful it's beautiful man gotta love it all right so what's next what is next uh we got the armies I guess we could slow down. We could focus on our upgrades. Let's go into my progress base. And again, I have not adjusted the progress base to include the collectors and the mines and the drills and all that stuff. I just haven't. But I did straighten that out a little bit. Um, so now, and it's not entirely in order of priority. I mean, obviously, lowest priority will be mortars and bomb towers, cannons. But but I'm not entirely sure my priority between like the Infernos, Expos, Wizard Towers, Air Defenses, Teslas, and Archer Towers. I'm not sure what's most important anymore. Um, I definitely need to do my upgrade guides, update those to figure out like what's going on now that things have changed. There's been updates, uh, but I usually do those in the summer. So we'll see. I may just wait until then. But anyway, uh, what can we get up to now? Very important. Very important to ask yourself that question. I think that requesting some treasury troops would be smart. Okay, we're good. Um, the cheapest gold, no, sorry, cheapest dark elixir upgrade would be naturally this Barbarian King, it's 215,000 Dark Elixir. So we're a little over halfway there, but not quite there. And then with the Elixir gains, we need 10 million to upgrade the Warden. Kind of a bummer, because I don't have it. I don't I don't have that loot. Um, ooh, and I just remembered something. I actually have an achievement. I get 50 free gems. That's awesome for getting 5,000 points in season challenges. Not something I was paying attention to. It just happened, and I wanted to wait until I was filming. So 50 free gems. Let's go. Three, two, one. Bam. Feels good to win, you know? Feels good to win. So I'm sitting at currently 3,197 gems. Not great, not terrible. So anyway, um... Now the question should remain, what are we going to upgrade today? I don't have a whole lot of loot, but I have a decent amount of loot, if you understand that. If you go into my suggested upgrades, I have a lot of things I can't upgrade and a few things that I can. The things that I can upgrade include walls, uh, the new Tesla. Obviously, we're going to do the new Tesla. That's, that's, that is the theme that we've been going with for a while now. So new Tesla going to level eight. Oh, wow. 
Four and a half million gold. Holy cannoli. All right, well, let's do it. Six day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. And that little thing will have one more upgrade to go before it catches up with all of its friends. So that's awesome. Uh, this Tesla, 10 million gold. Oh, this is brutal. I, I was starting to get used to the numbers on my Town Hall 11, but now that I'm on a 12, oh, brutal, man. And then, of course, my 13 is even worse. But, all right. Let me think for a second. So, Elixir, I think it would behoove us to, yeah, behoove us. It's a good word. It's an old word. It feels it feels good to say. Um, it would behoove us to upgrade another barracks. Not necessarily because we want the Yetis, but because it is an Elixir upgrade. And it's only 5 million Elixir, but it's 9 days. 9 days where we're going to be sitting, we're going to be chilling, and we're not going to be able to uh, use our armies at full capacity, right? It's going to take... 33% longer, I believe, if that's the right math, 33% longer to train troops because this guy, or maybe it's 25% longer. It may be simpler. Yeah, it's 25%. Either way, one of the two. One of y'all math geniuses in the comments confirm what I just said. So, 5 million elixir, 9 day upgrade, and 3, 2, 1, bam. It is my intention to keep one builder, let's name him Bob, Bob the Builder on barracks. Bob the Builder building barracks. Say that 10 times fast. All right, so Barrick, get up in here. Where's the other ones? Where are the other ones? I missed it. Oh, it's over here. Okay, sick. So there's that. Um, that was a lot of elixir. Elixir that could have went into the warden. But honestly, the barracks are the last elixir upgrade besides laboratory stuff and warden. So, and gold mines and dark elixir drills. Oh my goodness. And, and, and. I forgot about that. Yeah, the Dark Elixir Drills also get an upgrade, and that's that's a significant upgrade. I mean, it adds quite a bit of production value. Quite a bit. One-sixth or something like that. I'm guessing at all this math. I think I'm close on that one, too. But anyway, um, I guess we're definitely not going to be able to afford anything else. I mean, the only things that we can afford is possibly some walls, but I think most importantly is the new collector's and the new mines and I think top priority should be the collectors because we really are wanting elixir right so let's upgrade these collectors five day upgrade 840,000 gold I can afford to do three of them so I'm just going to go ahead and do three of them let's do it in three two one bam 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 what's up sick okay so there you go guys um we have now occupied all five builders two very important upgrades that being the barracks and that being the uh the new tesla and then also trying to max out our resource output very important very important indeed so that means we have five days where i've got no builders my goal will be to max out my elixir before that five day period is up and i'm sure once again i'll give you guys a midway point video where it's like yeah this is how we're doing we're doing good that way maybe Maybe we'll be able to upgrade the Warden. That would be absolutely amazing. But for now, guys, that is going to have to do it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 12 Let's Play. Anytime you can get five builders going in one video, big day. Big day for us today. That definitely deserves a like. Please like the video if you liked it. And if you're enjoying seeing the Town Hall 12 Let's Play again, I'm absolutely enjoying it, loving it. Wish we're making faster progress, but it will come. It will come in time. Also, guys, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the hashtag Klaus family, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to support your favorite content creator, whoever that may be, using the creator code. If you want to support me, use code Klaus. I've provided for you guys a deep link down below in the description. And that means if you click that link with a device that has the game, it'll automatically open up the game and automatically input the code. But don't forget that that code will disappear every seven days. So you wanna double check it before you make any in-game purchases. And that can be found here. Get the gears button, the settings button, at the bottom right hand side, go to more settings and then go to the very bottom right there. Boom, you can see I'm still currently supporting myself. Yeah, uh, just for demonstration purposes, I don't buy gems on this account, but yeah, double check this. If it has run out, then you can manually input the code there. And last but certainly not least, once again, go to my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. Hang out with me, playing different games, doing premieres, and chatting in the streams. And don't forget to come to our live streams every Tuesday and Thursday at noon Eastern time on the live. Link is provided for you guys down below in the description. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.